What is up y'all? It's me Troy and I'm here with another video. Thanks out to all who recently commented, liked, and subscribed. So today, I'm let's go ahead and make this quick though, but today I'm going to be doing a, I'm going to cover this dust jacket in a Mylar sheet. Here is the Mylar sheet. Um, I'll get into the reason why later on and probably in another video, whether it comes th after this one or before, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and start it by taking the dust cover, dust cover, dust jacket, whichever one off. And I recently ordered this book to add to my collection so you know yay but anyway so this is how I do it um, what you'll need is the mylar sheet now this one is the kind that does not have a paper back backing you know some of them have it where if I can demonstrate it but I probably can't so there's like a little paper backing where all you have to do is cut and slide the sleeve into the uh, the pocket I didn't have that. I really didn't know that there was a difference. So I ended up ordering just a whole roll of them. But I managed to make it work. So I got my roll. I got three paper clips. Cute colors, right? Scissors. Tape, which is optional, I think. But me, I love just have, making sure that the book is secure or the dust jacket is secure. So I use tape. The only thing is you cannot have the tape or is best not to have the tape touching the actual dust jacket or the book itself not that this is like a big collector's thing but you know if you really like books then you like books right <laughs> or whatever and then I got these right here now these are just some little acrylic paints they're just gonna be weights that's all I got what it was whatever was convenient so the first thing you would do and there are easier ways to do this but I'm not really in that kind of practice. I was hoping I had the ones with the sleeve. The first thing you're gonna do, of course, is I wanna I wanna look at I wanna look at him. I wanna look at him. But I'm gonna roll out the sleeve here. The sleeve. And as you can see I got some here. So there's some excess there. No one I excess, but and then on this end. Roll some more here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut. Uh, I've seen some videos online where they have like a bone tool or whatever you call it, but I don't have one of those, so I have to use the root my my ruler here to smooth it out. So now that we have that part done, I'm gonna turn it over. And starting from either the top or the bottom, I don't think it matters, but you're gonna try to align it and give it a fold. Jeez, this is the hard part. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm not, I told you I'm not in practice with this. And what I do is I get a paper clip to pin where the spine would be. But you wanna snug it in, flush it in, make it tight. And because I can't hold them both, well, I'll use my weight there. Then I just kind of take my ruler and I might need another paper clip here on the end. That's why I'm not sure why I brought the weights because I don't think I used the last ones, but, but yeah, you flush it in and I just take the ruler press down on it. Make sure it's good though, you know. And then I kind of do it on the side. And even if it's not even, I can just kind of push it down anyway. So it's kind of smooth, it's kind of tight there. And then I'm just gonna turn it to the side. flush it as much as I can. See, now that I got that first side down, I can do the next side easily. Okay. And then I just kind of move this paper clip down to the end. And make sure it's snug. This other paper clip. All right, cool beans. 
And then you just kind of flip it over on the other side. I sound like Mr. Rogers when he be doing those little shows or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know how he when he go visit people and he they talk about, you know, they tell they explain the little process to him. And then you flip it on the side. And then I just fold this in right here. Same thing as I did at the top. I add me a little paper clip. Cause this stuff likes to, and I put a little weight here. Cause this stuff likes to bend and turn and toss and all that kind of stuff. And then I just come over here and I smooth it with the flat of the ruler first. See, this is what happens when you don't have all the right tools. You had a jerry, jerry rig things. But, there we go. There. Okay. Same on this end. Mr. Rogers, Mr. Rogers neighborhood. So I got that as flushed as I can get. It's okay to have a little slack though, because one thing I do is I'll just cut it if I have to. But now I'm gonna do this right here. And this needs to be tightened a little bit more. There we go. I'm using the right side of the ruler. I was using the wrong side at first. Yeah, that really tightens it up. Okay. So it's sort of like wrapping a Christmas present. What I do is I cut the corners just to get rid of some of the act, you know, just so it won't be so much paper. And then I cut the tips here. Yeah, I don't want too much paper everywhere or mylar. And then I get some tape. And I try to make the tape as small as possible. You know, some people don't use tape, but I have to because I just want it to be as secure. And I have cut four little, really tiny slits of the tape. I'm putting them on the board of this artboard. Is this like an ASMR video? I kind of feel like it is. We'll label it as such. But anyway, now let me find. Okay, so what I do is because this will be the front flap and this will be the back, I put a little slack here. So I don't flush the end all the way to the paper. So it's just a little slack. Because when you don't do that slack, what's going to happen is your cover or the back part is going to be real bent. And say if that's too much slack, then all I would do is just cut it and then it'll be like a little pocket of space. And then I take a little tape, mylar to mylar. Yeah, girl, this is a Christmas present, look like. And did that get in there? Yeah, okay. And then I do the same thing with this side. I need to my ruler back in here. I wish I had one of those bone things. People, I think those are like a knitting tool or something. But I don't, I don't knit, so I don't have all of those kind of ingredients. <laughs> and once again, as I cut that, I just like to get rid of that stuff, you know. Let it be as smooth as possible. And of course, I'm not cutting the actual dust jacket. Okay, uh-oh. Child, we'll just rip that off, okay? <laughs> okay, now on this end, because this is the front flap, I will tighten it up. Actually, I need to remove some of these. They're feeling tight over here. We'll take them off in a little bit. Yeah, this has got to go. Paper clip's got to go. I feel the cover is trying to whop. 
I'll get warped. Okay, that's better. And I'll just put the tape on early. Remember, I'm not touching the paper. And then I'll just come on through here now. Oh, this one came loose. We'll put it the other way. Then I just kind of press it. See what's gonna happen is I'm probably gonna end up having to cut right here, but that's okay. And there's something else that I do. I think I missed the step. Okay, it's all good. Go ahead and put the book in there. Oops. And then that end. And that's pretty much it. Now I do see there's like a little space here of mylar, which of course I knew was gonna happen. So what I would do, if I do find that, because I'm not an expert and girl, my nerves are bad as he is, I'll just cut it. It's all good. But not too much, just enough so that there's space or there's that there's still some access there. And I'm not cutting the paper. Let's just check it. It's still protected, so it's not gonna like curl up, you know. And really I just want to get where the spine is. Alright, now let's put this thing back on there. Oh, I see how speaking this out says sex games. <laughs> but anyway, that is it. Pressing on it, getting it all flat. It's looking good, looking decent. Looking decent. See, and there's this slack that I put there. Some you can sometimes you can cut that too, but I just kind of leave it there. That way the dust jacket won't get whopped in the front because this will curl up if there's no slack on the back end. But anyway, that's it. I'm done. And it's not like I got to read this book again, but I love this freaking book. It's one of my favorites in the series. So I hope that helped. It's a little ratchet. It's a little ghetto, but you know, like I said, I ended up ordering the wrong kind, the more complicated pieces. So have fun. Enjoy yourself, girl, and read a book. Bye,